Johanna Conta became the first British woman to reach a Grand Slam quarter-final for 32 years by beating Ekaterina Makarova at the Australian Open. Conta, making her debut in the main draw, fought back to beat the 21st seed 4-6-6-4-8-6 in the fourth round. The last British woman to play in the quarter-finals of a Grand Slam was Joe Dury, at Wimbledon in 1984. Andy Murray also reached the last eight, with a 6-4-6-4-7-6, 7-4, win over Australian Bernard Tomic. It means Britain has male and female representation in the last eight of a Grand Slam for the first time for 39 years. Sue Barker, Robin Drisdale, and John Lloyd all reached the quarter-finals of the Australian Open in 1977. Murray's victory came less than 48 hours after he rushed to hospital to visit father-in-law Nigel Sears. Sears, the coach of Anna Ivanovic, was in Rod Laver Arena on Saturday when he collapsed and had to be carried away on a stretcher. The 24-year-old Kanta, ranked 47 in the world, will face Shui Zhang in the last eight after the Chinese qualifier beat 15th seed Madison Keys 3-6-6-3-6-3. It was mentally, emotionally, and physically draining, said Kanta, after a match that lasted three hours and four minutes. Those four minutes were important, believe me. I left it all out there on court, ran after every single ball and was fortunate enough to capitalize on some opportunities. World number 133 Zhang made the most of an injury to Key's left hip, which greatly hampered the Americans' movement from the start of the second set. After Keyes was rendered almost one-legged and periodically tearful, Zhang's game simultaneously disintegrated. But it was the Chinese player who stumbled to victory. Zhang, 27, had lost all 14 of her previous Grand Slam matches before this tournament and was on the verge of retiring. Murray has reached his seventh consecutive quarter-final in Melbourne, but has been beaten in the final four times. The Scot, who said he had not been at his best against Tomic, will now play 8th seed David Ferrer. Bernard fought right to the end and made it very tough for me, but I was just able to make a few more balls, said the British number 1. It was a bit of a scrappy match, a bit up and down. Asked about his father-in-law's illness, Murray added, the last few days have been very tough. A lot of emotions, things changing all the time in my head, so it has been stressful. Tennis is like the last thing on your mind at those moments, you are just more concerned about your family. Me and Nigel are very close. Britain's Jamie Murray, Andy's older brother, made it through to two quarter-finals in a day at Melbourne Park. He made the men's last eight for the first time as he and Brazilian Bruno Soares beat Britain Dominic Inglot and Swede Robert Lindstedt 6-3 6-4. He also reached the last eight in the mixed doubles partnering Katarina Srebitnik to a 6-4 6-4 win over Annalena Greinfeld and Robert Farah. Murray and Soares will play 13th seeds Raven Clausen and Rajiv Ram after they beat American twins Bob and Mike Bryan 3-6 6-3 6-4.